I have a Rockwood 2504S of 2017. A few people have asked me how I built these uh, blocks to go under my stabilizers on the trailer. Um, I found that when the scissor is extended all the way down, the trailer can rock when you walk around in it. So what I did was instead of putting a bunch of blocks under it, uh, to help stabilize it because I found that if the scissor isn't extended as far then the trailer doesn't move as much so it came up with these boxes I and I've had it in other another um, YouTube video I made so people were asking how do you make it and what are the measurements so I'm going to show you uh, first what they do and then um, how to put them in and then I'll show you the measurements so what I got here is there's different size blocks. I'll show you that in a minute. These are stackable. I use one in the front, one in the back. Like that, inside. They're made out of three quarter inch plywood. Here's a base. So what I did was I, this is a smaller base. And it goes over here on this one, like that. And then I'm going to do it this way, like that, because I'm using one hand, and that just slides on there. I have that just so that uh, this will be on flat ground, and the plywood edge will not be sitting straight, straight on the ground. I slide it underneath the jack. If I have a space there, I just had some scrap wood. I just place these blocks here that I just cut. So there's less distance. And then I just use this impact wrench and snug it a little bit. And that's what it looks like there. Um, I've run into it where if I'm parked on a slope or something, um, I just will leave this bottom piece out. Um, and uh, and that works so um let's see I'll, I'll look over at this one i use scrap wood that i had around this here this is actually a, a one inch thick and then i just use some trim board here and i just glued and nailed it and then here three quarter inch plywood and you can see what i did here and the top is three quarter and then I primed them and everything is glued and all I did is I glued it and then I just have a nail gun put finished nails here you could put screws if you want and I just painted it a lot of coats of paint just so it won't uh, delaminate the plywood if it's in the weather so I've had these two years and we use them every couple weeks we've used them in the rain and snow and so far so good um, so these blocks here, what I did is I just, I just cut a bunch of them. I probably have like six of these, uh, for this one, this little smaller, uh, and I probably have six for these. And when I store them and I have them stacked, they just, they just slide in here and store them in there. And then I slide them into a storage compartment. So... I'll get you the measurements here in one second. So I'm going to start off with the smaller uh, block. Uh, here's a larger one. So this is one that stacks inside of this one. So the top here is seven inches by uh, roughly five and a quarter. And the blocks that fit on top are the same measurement, and they're one inch thick. The base is 11 inches by 9 inches. So, what I did here is I cut a slight angle here 
on the table saw and it's the same angle down here. So I forgot what degrees that is, but um, I think you could figure that out. Um, and then, like I said before, all they are, they're, they're, there's a plywood here. Not very good lighting. Plywood, glue, get a good exterior glue, and then nail it. The height on this is uh, 11 and a half inches. So the height is 11 and a half inches. And that seems to work. If I did these again, I'd probably make them 11 inches because I've had a couple spots, uh, campgrounds, where I can't get it under. So you can make it 11 inches. And the base here is this is one inch thick by nine. 11 inches and then these here for this three quarter inch plywood to fit on top of this uh, I just went seven eighths or one inch just just so that this would fit on top like this and not slide around so I think they work uh, pretty good so then going to the larger one here this one the top is seven inches the bottom is ten seven eighths by eight and a half by twelve and a half and then the blocks that go on the top or the same measurement as this here, the top. I'll just clear that out real quick. Uh, it's showing six and seven eighths and eight and a half. And then on these, let's see if I got it off. The height on this is 11 and a half also. So they're made the same as the other block. They have three-quarter plywood glued nail, and they they hold up pretty good. And then here, I've got this the base eleven by twelve and a half. And this the left is almost an inch. About seven eight inch, and these here, um, I think they're just half by half. I cut out of a two by four a scrap. I just made half inch square, glued and nailed these on. So they they work pretty good. If you're interested in making them, I hope this helps you. Um, they aren't that heavy. And so they and they fit in the trailer nice. So good luck to you. Happy camping.